it, it, it made me realize the vulnerability of what we do. And as I was going into the hospital, I was just like, man, who's going to, yeah. who's going to fuck with my stock? And it's, yeah, 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 and, and, and well, I know the crew's going to water, but it was, what do they do with my genetic stuff? Fundamentally, what do you do with all the material you've worked with? And what do you do with the, the, the stuff that you spent all these years on? And that's what made me realize, whoa, we need to be able to start figuring out how to bank stuff and how to get people to work with it. And, and how do you expand the circle you're with? And, and for me, it's like, are you career? Because if you're not, I don't want to even talk to you on this level. Yeah. Because you don't catch it. You don't really catch the amount of work that went into it. Everybody's like, I want your shit. I want your shit. And so that's not, that's not what I'm looking for. Is I'm not looking for anybody's shit. I got plenty of my own shit. I've been moving stock for a long time. I don't have a problem moving genetic material. I don't have a problem acquiring genetic material. And for the people that I started out in breeding and all these different companies that I fed them to, I didn't screw them when I gave it to them. I said, listen, I'm going to give you some killer shit. It's going to let you move forward. And it was basically based off, I thought you were a good person. So for me, if I play with you, I just have to hang out with you for a little while. Yeah. I want to have lunch with you. I want to see how you treat people. I want to see how you treat your workers. I want to see how you treat the fucking waiter. Because if you're a dick there, you're going to be a dick to me too. Straight up. Everybody's a superstar now. And everybody's got a scene. And everybody's somebody. And everybody's going to do the thing. And that doesn't mean shit to me, man. I've been around money my whole life. And we were all career criminal black market guys, so we made a lot of fucking money when money was to be made, yeah, and hundreds of thousands and, and throwing it around and in, 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 in big long Ziploc containers that you were pulling out of the trucks that you had hidden in the yard. That that lets you become immune to cash, and so money's a tool now, and there's less disposable money now. But I'm not in any kind of economic bad situation. I own all my shit, and I'm the sole owner of all my investments. And then I partnered with Parker and the guys that you met, and because they have a, a stunning facility, and they asked me to come in and said, hey, would you be able to be our partner on this operation? And I just said, hey, it would allow me to shut down my other facility, turn it into another form of entity, and then we can combine that as a combined aggregate. So now I, because I can hold multiple permits, you guys can hold multiple permits. I already have all permits in play. So let's adjust the permits so that we can team up and not have redundant shit. I don't need to have my own nursery and then operate your nursery. I'll just operate your nursery and then I'll go at it with this. And so Parker is uh, successful from tech industry in terms of putting together money packages in tech. He gets into cannabis, but the kid's sharp and he's a, a, a work demon. And then my other partner is an aerospace engineer from Los Alamos Weapons Lab. So I have a, a basically Elon Musk where he can't put Velcro shoes on, but he can split an atom with a butter knife in the backyard. And then we have um, a, a good staff that I brought in that I've been existingly working with. We put the new dispensary together at that new facility. So we have a beautiful facility right on the highway. And, it, and, it, and then we have a new mega lab going in for distillate crude production, so a whole facility going in. And then I have another processing manufacturing facility we're building on acreage we already own to. So we have all these pieces in play, and it's all happening. And so it lets me play different, too, where I had opportunities to work with a lot of people, and I turn it down because I'm like, you guys are looking at short-term money, and what am I going to do next? And, yeah, you're going to get paid, but I'm already paid. I'm not broke now, so what are you offering me? Well, you know what I mean? Everybody's like, these people hold the money. I had an offer from the greenhouse seeds. I knew Franco, right? But they, 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 Franco flies in and says, hey, uh, our, the, uh, my boss wants you to do seed production for us. He goes, we're going to pay you $100,000. And I started laughing, and I'm like, you know, I got a giant outdoor farm. You realize 100 grand is a single pull off of debt. So you're going to make me commit to a year of work for a fucking 100K? And he was like, no, you don't understand. It's 100K. And I says, I don't think you understand. We got 100K in a paint bucket right here on the floor. Yeah. It, it, you're, we're different guys. You know what I mean? We're little different guys. Yeah. And so Franco laughed, and he ended up getting a bunch of genetics from me and went back to Europe. And then Franco and I maintained a pretty good friendship, so he would send me uh, genetic material from Europe, and I'd send it back to him. And then he dies of malaria. But it let me understand. I asked him, why don't you do this in Africa where you can screw them over? And he said, we tried, but the Africans nationalized our operation and screwed us. And so I said, that's exactly what you deserve. You can't do that shit. And that's what I see right now is the same abusive stuff and everybody's waving money. And so I go to a lot of these lectures, people have me come in and they don't want me to talk about cultivation. They want me to talk about uh, state of mind. And I tell people, don't mortgage your house right now. Don't mortgage your house and then have an investor 
take 52 points off your dollar to play because that is your margin. And all you're going to do is get wage. And then as soon as you don't achieve it, they'll cut you out. And yes, you'll be part owner of a company that you will not get paid on because they're going to sink the goddamn thing like a ship. And so it, 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 to me, I'm just like, this is a disastrous situation. And because I've been here my whole life, I have an emotional problem. I'm actually connected to these people. These aren't cats I just hustle with. These are cats I lived with and rolled with and did business with and all over the state. So we come up to L.A. to meet individuals. I go to some of these monster operations and the cat walking out the door is dudes I already know. Yeah. And so I'm like, holy fuck, we already know each other. We trafficked for years together. And so we're cracking up because I didn't know they had the new operation. And then they wanted to do the same thing. They said, hey, can you bank genetics for us? Can you take genetics from us and then give them back to us in micro form in clonal level so that we can shut down our nursery operation and then we can work in these capacity? And so I'm like, let's we'll figure it out. And that's the main point of it is to find out, can you have a workable relationship with other people that are in the same situation? You don't intend to go anywhere. Everybody's trying to retire. I mean, retire and do what? Someone yeah. said, when are you going to move from Humboldt? And I'm like, never. Yeah. And they, yeah. the, the other question was, when are you going to get out of weed? I said, when I'm dead. Yeah, exactly. When I'm dead. You, you liked it 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, no. I, yeah. No matter how many times I had to fight a case, I never gave up. Yeah. And no matter how much crap I went through, I never gave up. Because fundamentally, I love what I do. And I love the people that do it at this kind of level. Yeah. You, you're normal people that are abnormal in your hunger. And that's me. I'm a regular person who's abnormally driven. And I don't have any intention to screw anybody. So when I do business with people, I'm like, look, you can vet me. And if you want to do business, we can be friends. But I, it's all good. I'm not trying to forge a relationship. I have, I have one with my kids and my old lady. Relationship with me is over time. If you know me now, check me out. Check me out in a month. I'm the same dude. Yeah. Check me out in five years. I'm the same dude. I still got the same crew for 20 fucking years. That's how I know it works because the same guys I'm rolling with now, the same guys I was rolling with then. And you can meet new people, but everybody nowadays is so transient. This is very myopic. Um, I only see this, and it's going to be this, and it's going to be this. And I'm like, I don't even want to work at you because it's not real. Yeah. And it just makes it almost impossible to have any success when you're in those situations and no one's looking at it as a long-term thing. They don't realize this is global situations. For me, Humboldt County... Um, I had an ability, I got, I got access to the gubernatorial office when all the permitting came on. So I had, I, had, I had a kind of neat situation where Gavin Newsom came to my greenhouse to hang out. So he comes to LA, he comes to Oakland, he comes to my greenhouse. And they sealed off my whole facility and the cops came out with guns and protected us while we had lunch. And all the county supervisors were trying to get in, but they weren't invited and I wouldn't let them in the gates. So I pretended, I said, it's all right, we'll have the discussion ourselves. And what it did is it allowed me to work on all the permitting structures, nursery structures. So all this, I had my hand in all these permit pieces so I could try to help create the levels and layers that were needed for the people in my region to still succeed. Because if you can't do 1,500 square foot of canopy, which is what you have available, that means you're not even allowed to be in the industry. And to me, that doesn't make any sense. And so even though we're larger than that, that's, that's only because we grew from our lower levels. 